question we often get asked here at ModCon RV is, uh, do I need a BMS and uh, what does a, a BMS, a battery management system, do? Well, basically, a BMS manages how your batteries are charged and monitors the, the charging process. So in its simplest form, it's a battery charger connected to your batteries and a voltmeter um, used to monitor the battery voltage. So in this simplest form, if you understand voltage, a voltmeter is all you need to monitor charging and battery status. But there are more sophisticated uh, apparatuses available. So a step up from just a voltmeter is having a charger that gives you much more information, such as the real-time charge rate um, measured in amps and the battery status uh, shown as uh, voltage. And then there's a further step up again from that and you can have a charger that gives you even more information such as breakdown of the charge rates from different sources such as what you're getting from your solar, what you're getting from your tow vehicle, uh, your 240 volt, what you're getting from that. And also the battery capacity is shown as a percentage which is um, rather than the voltage which makes it easier to understand. We have these uh, different levels of battery uh, monitoring systems so which one is better? Well, that really depends on how much information you need. So what your um, level of uh, understanding is of, of batteries and then also what kind of camping you'll be doing. Because if you're going to a caravan park and just plug into 240 volt, you don't need much at all. But if you're going uh, free camping, you're going to remote locations, um, everything relies on the batteries. So... Uh, you're going to need to be able to have a more um, intricate understanding of what's going on there. So this is a brief rundown on the different systems offered by uh, ModCon RV. First, just some back background. As I said, so all the electronic devices, such as the fridge um, and everything on the, the C3 and the other C-series campers, they are all run off 12-volt battery power. Therefore, the batteries need to be charged when you're camping to run those devices. So as a general rule, when you're running a fridge, lights, radio, water pump, that kind of thing, you use 70 to 90 amps, amp hours a day of your batteries. The ModCon campers have a 200 amp hour battery pack, but that's not 200 amp hours of usable power because AGM batteries should not be run below 50%. Uh, so the 200 amp hours is really only 100 amp hours of usable power. So as I said before, 70, 90 amps a day. Um, this means when you're camping, free camping, you have about a day and a half before you need some to get some charge from somewhere. Now, many people boast that they can get more days out of their batteries and their batteries are amazing because, um, you know, you can get three, four, five days. But what they're doing is they're running them down below 50%. And long term, they will get less battery life. I've seen this time and time again. So the more often the batteries are discharged and the deeper the discharge, when they are discharged, the shorter the battery life. So it's just a simple equation. So the better you um, are at keeping them charged up, the longer your battery life will be. Because it's a chemical process. When they're discharged, even for 24 hours, um, they will start to, start to sulfate. And uh, that's the crystals forming in the, on the um, uh, plates and they just don't hold their charge as well as they used to and that's what um, degrades batteries and uh, leads them to having to be replaced. So uh, we need to be able to charge our batteries to be self-sufficient when camping so the charging systems that we offer at um, ModCon RV go from very simple to uh, more sophisticated. So the simplest charging system is the Victron 15 amp 240 volt charger which is not installed into the camper, it's a loose charger. So you can use it to charge your car batteries, you can use it anywhere you like. It has different um, plug-in um, end fittings that you can change around, um, alligator clips, um, Anderson plug fittings, that kind of thing, that you can uh, use for different purposes. So with the camper, you just plug one end into the Anderson connector at the front of the camper, and you, you plug it into 240 volt power, and it charges the batteries. It's simple. So you have a phone app that allows you to monitor what the charge is doing. So it gives you um, the charge rate in amps and um, it gives you the voltage of, of the batteries. So that, that's a, a simple um, and, and effective means of charging your batteries. So the 15 in 15 amps, that refers to the maximum rate of charge that the charger can operate at. So 
the fifth Victron 15 will put 15 amps um, an hour into the batteries until they are 80% um, full and then the charge rate will gradually reduce until the last amp is put in to make it 100% charged. So that's um, the first option. So the second option is a 25 amp charger. So that does the same thing as the 15 amp charger, but does it at 25 amps an hour. So, you know, 10 amps an hour quicker. And it is um, hard installed. So it's hardwired. So it's installed into the camper and you can plug it into the, uh, uh, the 240 volt socket inside. And the, one of the advantages is you can uh, put, you plug in the lead on the outside of the camper, the, so the weatherproof inlet on the outside of the camper, so you can actually charge the camper when it's raining. You don't have to have the door open or you don't have to have a, a charger sitting on your drawbar outside. And as a side note, it should be noted that the AGM batteries used by ModCon can't accept more than 25 amps. Um, that's, about, that's the most I've seen sometimes. You might get a little bit more, but you, you can't really get more than 25 amps per hour in. Up to now, we've been talking about charging from 240 volt power. That's uh, mains power or generator power. So both the Victrons I've mentioned, the 15 amp and the 25 amp, they both get power from mains power. There's also the alternative of using 12 volt charging, which is power from a solar panel when you're set up and camped or uh, while you're driving from your tow vehicle. 12 volt charging uh, also needs to be regulated, so you need a 12 volt charger. The 12 volt charger that ModCon uses is the Red Arc BC to DC 1225. And as I said before, it's allow, this allows uh, charging from either a solar panel or uh, while you're driving. One thing to note, the Red Arc doesn't have a phone app, so the monitoring of the battery status is done by the uh, inbuilt uh, voltmeter in the camper. In combination, if you use the uh, one of the Victrons, either the 15 or the 25, and the Red Arc uh, BC to DC, you have both 240 volt charging and 12 volt charging covered. So that's uh, a system that you can incorporate for either, um, you need the 240 volt for maintaining your batteries when they're in uh, storage, and if you're in a caravan park, you can use a 20, 240 volt, or if you have a generator, you can use a 240 volt, but if you uh, just uh, operating off solar panels or if you're moving every day getting charged from your car you're using the 12 volt charging uh, system so the last uh, BMS set offered by ModCon the Red Arc uh, Manager 30 which is also the most expensive it has both it has 240 volt charging and it has 12 volt charging in one system the 30 refers to the charge rate so it's a 240 volt and a uh, 12 volt charger, and on both of those, it charges at 30 amps per hour. Uh, it also has a, a digital display panel that is uh, installed inside the camper, and it gives a more sophisticated array of information. It details the battery status uh, in terms of uh, percentage. It gives you different charge rates uh, from solar panel or from different sources. So, you know, it really does harness your inner geek. And on a rainy day when you haven't got much to do, you can scroll through everything. It has a history function too. You can see how you've been doing over the last week or so camped on the beach. And it gives you a better understanding of exactly what is happening. Having said that, uh, with all this technical information, it must be noted that the aim of a BMS is just to keep your batteries charged so you can enjoy your holiday. And each BMS tier, um, just from the simplest to the more sophisticated, they do the same thing, but just with more convenience and ease of use. Sometimes with a voltmeter, it's, it's just hard to understand exactly where your batteries are if you're running a fridge and charging at the same time, because the voltage will go up and down according to whether you are drawing power or putting power in. However, as you spend more time camping uh, for long periods of time and you start to get an understanding of how much power you use and how much power a solar panel can put in and on a, on a cloudy day how much it doesn't put in, uh, you, you get to understand it uh, intuitively. So you may only uh, look at your battery monitor uh, once or maybe twice a day and eventually you maybe skip a day because you, you, you know in general terms what's going on. 
But when you first start out, you really have to gain that knowledge and gain that understanding. And to do that, you need a way of monitoring your battery status so they don't fall below 50 uh, percent. Um, and you don't want your batteries to start sulfating. So you do need a BMS system. Um, the sophistication uh, degree is really up to uh, individual uh, customers. The BMS is a means to an end, and that end is cold beer and hot showers.